Hey, people, people are into cats. Um, I don't know, the paranormal creatures and whatever else. Right, this is the second half of the video. Now, I would show you Forrest, but it's past her bedtime and she's asleep, so I'm not waking her. And she won't be awake again until the morning. So I'm going to carry on what I was doing, and that was feeding my jumping spiders and mantises. Now, probably from the video uh, that you've seen earlier, well, about a week ago, I... Um, well, the room was a mess then, and it still is, but I've moved a few things around because I've started rearranging in between when I was uploading my video. So I thought, do you know what? Get this done. Get it out of the way because it's... Oh, this rearranging malarkey, it's doing my head in. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do next is, like I said, to feed the rest of the creatures and I will um, feed the, the gecko. The bearded, the bearded dragon's asleep. See, I'm confusing myself. I would restart, but why? I don't pretend to be brilliant at this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna feed the, um, that's it, the leopard gecko. Now she, we think, it, we think it's a she anyway. Um, yeah, she's due her, her crickets. I've not seen any running around. So I'm going to be doing that after. But it might be part of this video, uh, but then it might be the weeks after. <laughs> but no, I did actually promise I'd show you her running around. So I'm going to do that first of all, because it's only fair on her. So I'm going to move some things out of the way. Right, I'm just getting myself ready. So we've got the crickets. And... Going to catch them and put them in the pot, and then put some dust on them, and then I will feed them to. Uh, I think Simon's called a smog, so we're just going to do that. So let me just catch the uh, crickets. Well, right, I've caught. Let's see how many I've caught got five and that'll be enough for her because I don't really just sit there and throw them all down her neck because she doesn't just need them. So I've got four in there. Let's do the next bit that I normally do. So I get rid of the... See, what I do is I'll make up kale as well and that will be for the crickets to eat and it keeps them alive longer. Instead of her having loads of dead bodies around in her enclosure, because it's not very nice. Um, crickets don't smell the best most of the time anyway. And um, yeah, she does nibble on some of the uh, the kale herself. So it's not going to do her any harm. And yep, I'll just break all this up and then I'll put some powder on. No calcium powder. Then I'll turn off the light and then we'll see if she emerges out. Right, just gonna shake this and then sorry guys, I'm gonna have a bit of a headache. Move this out of the way. And basically, I'll put them in the enclosure and then we'll see what happens. Here we are. This is her um, enclosure. So I'm going to turn off the light. Gonna do. Shut the door. Oops. And then, what I'll do next 
is put a food bowl in there. Okay, well, that was a bit of a problem. Some idiot, meaning me, knocked the thing over. So let's do this. Smog, we got her uh, last year in November, and she was three months when we got her. So she's looking pretty good. And she's just got herself a cricket. Trying to make sure that she doesn't have too much and end up being a, a bit of a fatty. <laughs> She probably knows there's other crickets hanging about. So I should probably go off and hunt for them. And this is her routine every night. I mean, obviously, if there's no... I will put kale in there and obviously it will feed what crickets are left. So it will keep them alive and uh, keep them gut fed for her. So... 
adventure. It looks like she's gone off on a platform. Yeah, she knows all their hiding places. <laughs> so, off she goes. And chances are she'll be back out there later. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed the feeding of Smork. I decided not to add the second bit of where the uh, you see the feeding of the mantises because otherwise the video would have been just too stupidly long. And, uh, yeah... I mean, people who's only got so much time of the day to watch these things. But, yeah, they, I mean, all these sort of videos are quite enjoyable. Like, you just watch Smog eating. But that's a typical routine. She'll get maybe four or five crickets every four days. Something like that. Four to five days. Because then they're not overfed. I leave the, uh, the kale inside. So, basically, if she nibbles on it, she nibbles on it. But mainly, the, um, the crickets will go over and eat it. And I'll keep putting some in every day. So any remaining crickets that are running around will go over to the kale and eat it. And then it obviously gives her the opportunity to catch them at the same time. Because she, uh, she always has her bowl placed right there. So it's only fair for her. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.